Hi, this is something today I would like to share how to adjust the position of input box and restrict the type and the length of input. Let's go to Visual Basic. First, let's give a name to this project. And the syntax for the input box is simply input box. And if let's say we would like to record value and store value, by using this input box, we just have to add a random dummy and key in the input box followed by a bracket. All the components should be entered within this bracket. Otherwise, if let's say we just want to prompt out an input box without storing the value, then bracket is not required. What we have to do is just give the message of the components in string form, meaning to say all must inside the quotation marks so we have give a number for example then we use comma to split in between the components so we have title for example number and default is the text that going to be shown on the text box of this input box so maybe like we can show example 1 to 3 for the x and y position we just ignore for this moment we will come back to this later okay now let's see what will happen if we enter all this so we run so the title the message okay how let's say user enter follow the instruction if the number so 143 then we click on OK, so accept it. We run again, how let's say the user did not follow instruction, meaning to say give any text, any letters. So run. So also accept it. If we would like to restrict the input provided by the user, meaning to say we have to check what the user has entered. In order to do so, we create a random dummy to store the input so that we can check. Remember to add brackets. So we will use do loop here to loop until the input is correct. So we will use select case whenever true. Okay, how do we select? So this case will based on this dummy. So if let's say this case is like, remember to add in the quotation mark, then square bracket. So if we would like to have a number, okay, let's say to be more precise, a single digit number. Example one. So we have to use from 0 to 9 a single digit. So as we can see here, we have one position. If this is correct, remember to exit do. Otherwise, this will loop infinitely. So it's a must to exit this when it is correct. So we have start with select and we end with select loop for the to function okay so done already let's run okay again give a single digit number example one so if let's say the user don't want to listen so give a text okay a string or some latches then okay so not accepted but rejected so again run the message box the input box again so give two digit instead of one digit so okay rejected as well how let's say a single digit seven okay so being accepted so if let's say we will want to have latches instead of digit or number then we can try give a capital capital letter 
So what we want is letter for this case, capital letter, for example, capital S. Here will be A to Z, capital letter. So let's run. Okay, if let's say we give a number 2, rejected, 12 two-digit numbers, so rejected. Okay, how let's say we type a small letter, A, rejected. How? Capital A, okay, accepted. So as we can see, we already make use of capital letter here. So the system will only allow capital letter being entered. How let's say we want to have two capital letters for example s w then this is only a single place to have two capital letters we must have two places so we have to copy and paste to make it two position okay let's run okay so we have 12 two position see whether accepted or not so rejected. How let's say small letters AS rejected. Capital letter AS. Yes, be accepted. How let's say we want a capital letter and a single digit number. Letter plus number so for example a1 okay let's check before that remember to change to number so we run okay now let's say first one is the number then only followed by letter so okay reject it because the sequence is very important so we have capital letter and number so maybe a3 Okay, so accept it. Okay, now let's try how to adjust the startup position of the input box. So we just have to add the two components, the X position and the Y position. So remember, these two must be placed together. If let's say we just type in the X position without the Y position, nothing will happen. Or if we Type in only the Y position without the X position, also nothing will happen. These two must be typed together, then only we will see the result. For example, we put in 0 and 0. Let's run, see what happened. We, we run. So the input box is now on the top left. So we enter, must enter so that this input box will be closed. Okay, after accepted the input. So capital letter followed by a single digit. Okay. So we back to this. You we should be say, okay, let's say we want to have at this corner. So maybe we can have 23,400 and 13,400 okay last check run so we'll be at this bottom right corner okay then again we must enter before we can close the input box okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you